The NHMC Writers Program is now 11 years old and it's incredibly successful. We have put about 100 writers through this course, this writers program, and 25 of them are working steadily in the industry with others joining them. These folks are going to be the show creators of tomorrow. Without Jeff, this program would not exist. Over the years, the, the writers have been you know, white male, and um, we're just trying to open up the doors that we traditionally have been shut out, and that's the Latino writer. Remember who your, your audience is. Your audience isn't the TV audience right now. Your audience is the agent or the executive at the network or the producer. He is, um, I think, the bloodline of the program. The writers that are coming out of the program are stronger and stronger, and more and more of them are getting jobs in the industry. Jeff Harris changed my life through his mentorship and through his fostering of, you know, my meager talents. He um, was able to help me get into the ABC Disney Fellowship and um, I was able to move on and now I'm a working writer in the industry. I wrote a script in the program that got me lots of meetings and was really well received. It got me, and I got a manager through a friend I met in the program, which then got me an agent, which then got me staffed on Grimm. It's a series of events that all began with the NHMC program with Jeff. Through his mentorship through the NHMC program, after that I got into a bunch of other programs there and some network scene showcases. I ended up being a head writer for a small cable network. I ended up selling a show to another cable network. It gave me confidence. I want them to start thinking on their own. I mean, it, it's, you know, I don't want to be writing these scripts for them. They're writing them and I want them to have the, the feeling of being in a writer's room where they write the script and where they, they can, uh, they're given notes can take those notes and also give notes to others. Jeff was a story executive at NBC. He was hired by Brandon Tartikoff and um, he was sort of the right hand man in terms of finding content, developing talent, um, recognizing great stories and, and, um, and fostering talent in, on that level. And so to, to be taught under him and to know that this is a guy who Brandon Tartikoff would go to, you know, um, it immediately elevates how you feel as a writer. He's really concerned, he's really invested in all of the students in his program. He's incredibly patient, he's inspiring and challenging and motivating. Jeff is the type of person who's like, yes, you are a good writer, and let me show you how you can do this. Let me show you how you can be a good writer. He never made me feel like a great Latino writer. He just makes me feel like a great writer. On top of being just an incredible teacher, also just an amazing friend. He, um, when I got into the ABC Disney Fellowship, the day before I arrived in Los Angeles, my housing fell through, and he kicked his daughter out of her room and let me stay there for two weeks. I was in the NHMC program and uh, my father had passed away and you know Jeff was you know, Jeff was completely um, you know there for me he, and I just remember at the end of that program him coming up to me and him you know tapping me on the shoulder and he says you got the goods kid you know and for a kid who that's all I really want. When the class is over, if he sees you have the talent and the drive and the compassion, he wants to keep helping you. He goes out of his way to create opportunities for them. Why does he do, why does he go the extra mile? He does it because he is a man without biases and prejudices like so many of us. And he knows that he's going to make a difference in people's lives. do with a man like this. You have to honor him. Yeah.